For more than 100 years, most of the world's electricity generators have been driven by turbines like these. They're powered by steam, produced by burning non-renewable fossil fuels like coal, gas and oil. But supplies of these fuels are limited, and that's one reason governments are turning towards renewable sources. Renewable energy makes use of sources that are continually being replenished, like wind, water flows, energy from the sun, or even wood, as long as it comes from a source where at least one tree is planted for every one that's cut down. Rather than using steam to drive turbines, wind, wave, tidal and hydroelectric power, or HEP, use movements of air and water. Getting energy from these sources has meant adapting turbines for different purposes, but the principles remain the same. As wind or water moves past the blades, it gets deflected, pushing the blade around, providing rotational movement that drives the generator. It might be nearly 200 years since Faraday's demonstration, but whether they're on top of a wind turbine or in a biomass plant like this one, modern generators use the same basic design. Inside the casing you'll find an electromagnet, surrounded by one or more fixed coils of copper wire. The magnet's attached to an axle that spins at high speed. Like Faraday's original model, the movement of the magnet induces a voltage, which causes a current to flow in the coils of wire. The only form of renewable energy that doesn't require a generator is solar power. This uses photovoltaic cells to convert the sun's energy straight to electricity. And however the electricity is produced, being renewable isn't the only benefit these energy sources have compared to non-renewable ones. Burning fossil fuels creates an increase in greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide. These gases prevent heat radiated from the Earth's surface being lost back into space causing the atmosphere to warm up. This is known as the enhanced greenhouse effect. Rather than using fossil fuels, campaign groups like Friends of the Earth and Greenpeace want governments to use emission-free sources of energy, like wind, hydroelectric and solar, to generate our electricity.